Well, it's our last Eagle Lake video from 2023, and uh, thankfully we get to go back and do this all again in 122 days, five hours, 11 minutes, and 30, 33, 30, 31 seconds. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. And as I said, this is our last video from our August trip to Eagle Lake. Uh, there was just so much other fishing that we did between then and now that uh, I've kind of been spacing out the Eagle Lake stuff. This is the last one. And uh, as I mentioned also, we get to go back for the opener June 15th. So be looking forward to that. This particular day is starts out rough. And I mean that in many ways the fishing was tough the uh the waves really kicked up we uh we were putting up with some really high winds out of the southwest and the section of eagle lake that we're on is tough to fish once you get a southwest wind so we bailed on the morning went out in the afternoon had a bunch of encounters with fish and finally did put one in the boat so without further ado here's some more musky fishing from eagle lake in ontario There's a fish. Feels like a good one. Might just be a big pike, I don't know. Oh, it's a pike. Never mind. Ah. Uh, tricked. Tricked. <laughs> Man, look how they eat those things, though. Look, and the way your rod looks. Yeah, he headshot it, man. A lot bigger than that. All right, buddy. Oh yeah, he really gooped that thing down. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because you're pulling pulling the bait from the side at that point that it feels like they're so much more substantial. But I mean, man, that's it's not giant or anything, but. Oh, he's bleeding a little bit. There you go, buddy. Oh, man. I thought we were in business there. Are you kidding me? She missed it. She missed it. Are you joking? <laughs> that hurts. She came back for round two. Might have been a different fish. We're on the other side of this thing. Not that it's very big, but... <laughs> How do you miss that? God, freaking fish. All right, man. In the, the old power hour here. The 
old power hour. Okay, that's off. There's a fish. Got him, got him. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, here we go, here we go. Nope. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. In. Nicely done, dude. Nicely done. Yep, yep. Yep. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. Did you get him? Okay, good. All right, well, uh, it's the last hour of our trip, and we've moved four or five fish in the last hour previous to this. So the activity seemed to be ramping up, came to this spot. I honestly think it was the first cast on the spot, dude. And uh, she crunched that bucktail. I might have to unhook her still quick. Hopefully she behaves. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Gotcha. Boom, boom, okay. Come here, girl, oh man. Another beautiful Eagle Lake fish. Ah, oh, these things are just so awesome. So awesome. All right, we got the bump board wetted down. We'll get a real quick measurement of the spunky girl. There. Just short of 45, 44 and three quarters. So just a beautiful fish though. Oh, look at that. But so we don't have much time. And if they're going, we better take advantage of what Eagle Lake is going to give us in our last day here. So let's send her on her way and get back to casting, man. Let's get another one. Come on, girls. Give us a banger to go out on here. Yep. She came up a little bit lazy. Yeah, she's under the boat. You can see her right there. Folks, well, that concludes our stay at uh, Cold Grove Seagull Lake Lodge, and uh, I'm in one of the cabins right now, so uh, we're getting ready to pack up and head back to southern Wisconsin. So, oh, and so tired. I mean, eight days of doing what we just did, <laughs> it'll drain just about anybody, but uh, started off with a bang. I uh, couldn't ask for better fishing those first two days, and then it just fell right off a cliff. Um, some probably the toughest four days of muskie fishing I've had out here which is saying something because Eagle Lake is notoriously tough it is a tough body of water um, ended with eight fish Louie got one Nate and his cousin got I think three um, so yeah really tough a bunch of trophy pike I mean we got all sorts of pike over three foot you know between that 36 and 40 inch but uh, as cool fish as they are, it's not what we're looking for. We're, <laughs> we're really looking for muskies. But um, another amazing trip to Colgroves. 
uh, if you're looking for a place to stay on Eagle Lake. Highly recommend these guys. I will leave their particulars in the description below. But uh, yeah, ended up with one tonight. Um, a couple other opportunities. Uh, Louie had one bump of bait. I had one bump of bucktail. We had one take a real hard swing and miss at a Medusa. So, you know, quarter inch either way, and we had a four fish night. But uh, that's how musky fishing works, people. Um, if you've done it long enough, you know it. And if you're new to the sport, buckle up and get ready because uh, as fun as it can be, sometimes it's frustrating. And we uh, certainly experienced that this week. But uh, with that, I need to get some rest because we had a long drive ahead of us. I appreciate every single one of you watching this mess. And I'll see you on the next video.